streets is a burning thing And it makes my armor ping First Thunderstrike here and we're going to be watching Over a Barrel with my mother and she's going to be questioning Pony Logic. Let us begin. Pony Logic? There is Pony Logic? What else? This shit, this does not make sense. What else do you want me to call it? Okay, I apologize for all of the random cussing that's about to happen because this is... This is some truly fucked up stuff, I'm just saying. Okay, let's begin. I don't even know what episode we're in. Where's the button? Alright, here we go. Okay, problem number one. Oh, that's really blurry. We have four... We're gonna back this up. Let's, let's begin again. We have four horses pulling a train. Okay? Let's just start with that. There are four horses. The engine by itself weighs like four tons. Okay? There's no way... Them four little horses are going to pull that engine. That does not make any sense whatsoever. It's like you have four horses, like four horses of the apocalypse, and they're, all four of them are different colors. So you got to wonder if there's some sort of like apocalyptic reference here because four horses pulling a train would be a miracle of biblical fucking proportion if that could work because I want all of them steroid tested because there's no way that those four ponies are not juicing somehow they're on some sort of drugs or some shit I still can't believe you called them oh, the apo horsemen of the apocalypse they look like they're four different colors you have famine, you have war, you have pestilence you have sea. You, they're right there. There's going to be some Bible freak out there that goes, Oh my God, I never saw that before. <laughs> but it would be a fucking miracle if four ponies could pull an engine. The engine by itself has got to weigh four, close to four tons. I'm, and I know, I do not believe at all that that little dude, it looks like he's got the train whistle bit in his mouth. <laughs> so he's, he's either blowing into that really hard and it's a tube. Or he's bobbing his head forward and reefing on the whistle because he doesn't have enough to fucking do first, pulling the train. First of all, I'd like to state, I'm going to use the standard excuse of it's magic. And second of all, if you look at the beginning... It's not magic! They're horses! They're not even unicorns! It's, I told you already, if, they had, if it was unicorns, you would only need one. It would be in the control box of the engine. All and ponies have magic! Shit. Even they Earth ponies. They could magic that shit and make the train go. It's... You don't have one pony in all of Equestria that has got enough badass magic to make the train go. You got these four little fuckers out there's front. One, there's one, one pony that could do it. Who? Luna. Boom! Where the hell is she? Off in Canada lot somewhere. And these four bastards are pulling the damn train because she's sitting on her butt somewhere. I don't hey, hear don't it. not be dissing Luna. I don't Luna. Want to hear it. And second of all, if you look at the beginning, <laughs> you actually see the brown pony in the back pulling his head forward to pull the whistle. Because he doesn't have enough to do with that big ass engine right behind him. <laughs> He's the one that's going to die first on the downhill. Question! What happens to those four ponies when that train goes downhill? The train runs them over and they die. They become dog food for dog a lot somewhere because they came from the dog food factory in Canterlot. They were train fodder. These guys are prison ponies being exploited and they need a good attorney. Spin on. Play. Oh my god! I wish you guys could see my face right now. My diaphragm's in pain. I don't care. Applejack is still gay. What makes you say that? I mean, granted, 90% of Equestria is, like, female, but still... Never mind, I'm not going there. Exactly! You know why they're all female? Because the male ponies are out pulling a four-ton engine on a 40-ton train! Oh my god. They are too tired for anything else at the end of the day. I tell you what, there's some badass ponies though. There's some strong legs on them assholes. Have you seen Big run. Mac? Yeah, I saw a Big Mac. I went to McDonald's. 
Oh, that was bad. All right. Seriously? I'm with Rarity on this. You need help. I still can't give Rarity much love. Rarity needs to get slapped. Perhaps. Okay. Here we go. Question. Answer. There are no sandbags on that balloon. There are no weights or anchors on that balloon. That balloon is going down. Okay? Now, I can believe the balloon is going down because there is no heat source in a balloon, you have an engine that you pull a lever, it heats the air, the balloon goes up in the air. So, apparently, Twilight is magicking the balloon up and down so she can fly around Equestria in her fancy balloon, but she can't magic a fucking train! Do you know the energy? She can't put somebody in the train to drive a train so these poor damn ponies in the front don't have to run around dragging their... How are they going to... You know what? Just spin on. I don't want to hear it. Spin on. You guys are going to hear that a lot when we do this. You don't need to worry about what friendship could be. You got to worry about what that damn engine's going to do. <laughs> You can kick apples out of a tree, but you can't find a unicorn that can fly. And how, wait, I got a question, question. Max out. Question. Here we go. How come you don't have four Pegasi hooked to the top of the engine, the engine casing, flying it forward, and helping the four earth ponies on the ground? Why it gotta be earth ponies? Do you know what it's going to do to their hooves running on that track like that? It's totally going to tear their hooves. They're going to go through tons of horseshoes. They're... Okay, wait, 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 wait. We saw it in daytime, right? Here we go. It's true. Earth ponies are certainly ostracized. I still remain my right they're to be like the, pony. They're like the slave ponies. They like I do all this work and everything. Okay, question. Here we go. This started and it was daytime. Yes. So these same four ponies... Because they're the same four ponies of the apocalypse. Is that we're going to call the train the apocalypse. There Actually, it's the Friendship Express. There are six Friendship Express my ass. <laughs> this has nothing to do with friendship. This has to do with pony exploitation. Uh, earth pony male exploitation. Pony, male earth pony exploitation. <laughs> well, there's no female male ponies. <laughs> Stallions are getting beat on. As we have, wait, no, wait. We have six cars here. Yarp. Okay. Plus a caboose and an engine. That's eight cars total. Yarp. So we're talking about over 40 tons of metal that they are running. It was daytime. Now it's nighttime. At speed, like 50, 60 miles an hour. They are not getting that juice on monster shit. <laughs> they are on speed. They're on meth. They're on some sort of steroid. They're, there's not even a green one to say it's a Hulk pony. Someone it's is like, just four ponies running their ass off because this is the job they chose. They got cutie marks that say, I'm good at pulling engines. <laughs> so are the comments. Is there an equestrian version of weed? No, weed, they'd be sitting on their asses somewhere <laughs> listening to really good music. Yeah, probably. These guys are on, like, somebody stole the Adderall and <laughs> taking, like, somebody's ADD meds or something. These are the ADD ponies. <laughs> Because they're running this shit at like 60 miles an hour. It's flat ground. Somebody tell me how these four ponies take that train up a hill. For the record, um, I did show my mother the Little Pip Hates Trains, and that did not do her much no, good. No, me and Little Pip though. got the same damn questions. Why did you build a train <laughs> for a fuel source you don't even have? For the record, they do have it. It's just in a faraway part of Equestria. So why didn't you build the train where it was, fill it with coal? You're going to tell me that they can drag that train all over Equestria, but they can't drag it to where the coal is at? That's a good point. That is bullshit. You could run it on wood. It doesn't burn as slow or as hot as coal, but it would at least help the damn ponies that are dragging that shit. Take some of the workload off them. Quit how ostracizing they, us earth ponies. How are they going to get that up a hill? I got, they got to drag it up a hill because all of Equestria is not flat. They've got mountains and shit. We've seen it because Princess 
what's her name? The, Celestia. Yeah, she lives on top of a fucking mountain. They're no. They're, Technically, it's the these, side of a mountain. No, these ponies are looking at that hill, going, "Piss off! We're <laughs> not going up there." Because yeah, so, when they come down, all that tonnage is going to run them over and kill them. <laughs> Spin on. <laughs> I feel sorry for these poor <laughs> bastards right here. <laughs> Nobody loves them. Okay, wait a minute. Question. Here we go. These are ponies, right? Yarp. They're horses, right? Technically. They have no fingers or thumbs, correct? Yarp. Look at the angle of those ramps that get up in the, into there. Okay, I never the thought about that. The reason that the only there are only Pegasi up there right now is because they can fly. How the fuck did Rarity get up there? She's very well. She's a unicorn. She can teleport. If she, I suppose. Because the angle of those ramps, there's no way. That one of the, that's why that's why Twilight Sparkle and and Pinkie Pie are on the bottom, because they can't get up them damn ramps. Well, for well to be fair, in Dra no 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 it wasn't it was Dragon Shy that's right in Dragon Shy they scaled a mountain with nothing but their bare hooves. Look at where the rungs are for anchor points for their hooves. I could climb you, that. You can, but you have fingers and thumbs. If you close your I hands, I could do that. I, I no, run. you can't. Look at the angle. The angle is too sharp. You would have to go straight up. Okay, well, they can't go straight up because they don't have a way to grab the rung. Okay, and the rung's well, let, not that wide. Let's say that these are retractable uh, ladders, ramps, whatever you want to call them. They're not retractable. They're wood, dude. So you, I mean, if you like, increase the angle, it won't reach the top. No, I'm saying you like pull them out, or you adjust them to a different angle. You can't look at them. If you adjust the angle, the top is gonna come down. They're hooked up there. How did Rarity get up there? And for that matter, excuse me, wait a minute. How did Rarity get those wrapped in her tail and her mane without fingers? And every girl that watches this is going to tell you that to curl your hair with a curling iron or with curlers, you got to have fingers and thumbs to roll them. And how are they in there? I don't see any pins holding that shit in there. They're just wrapped up, tangled in there. They're going to have to cut them out. To quote the inverted shadow and Gonzo, because it's Pinkie Pie. That doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, <coughs> now let's spin on. Seriously? Okay, wait. She totally missed her ears, by the way, when she was plugging her ears. Medic? Good night. RD is best main six Spike pony. is my boy. This is the funniest scene ever. You have a big day tomorrow? I'm worried about them four ponies who are running all night long. Question. Here we go. Spike is asleep. Yarp. How did they light that candle? They don't have fingers and thumbs in order to strike the match. How did they do it? Have you? I will admit the innovation of using hooves to hold certain objects even baffles me. I'm still working it out. How did they? Would they rub their hooves together really, really fast and Mr. Miyagi that shit? <laughs> I don't think so. Somebody want to mess? Continuity issue. Spin on. Okay, stop. I have been somewhat in those situations before. Y'all need to just... I apologize, but y'all need to... Shut the, the hell up and go to sleep. Feck off, I'm trying to sleep. Ask any one of my friends, they'll tell you, do not disturb okay, me. Okay, continue. Best horror scene ever. Question. How does she get the cu cucumbers on her eyes? 
And how are they staying there? Because I've done that. The minute you pick your head up, they fall off. Don't ask me. How are the cucumbers? And where did she even get cucumbers? She packed them in a bag. It's rarity. Come back. Okay. Come back. <sighs> Sorry. If he spits fire in his sleep, oh, that crap. tree is fucked. Just oh, saying. yeah. Okay, it's morning. Stop. We can at least say that this train has been traveling for about, what, 72 hours? It's been running for at least 12 because we went from daytime okay, to nighttime, yeah, so, and they are still running. So let's say about 12 hours and some change. I don't know if they're running. I These look. guys got wicked in stamina. That's why I want them tested for steroids. I will give y'all props on the on your stamina. Yeah. What now? What's happening? What's happening is them four ponies are getting fucking tired. Okay. Here we go. Let's put this in perspective. Look up on your phone because I know you have it. What is the top? Running speed. Let me have your phone. I'll do it. Just open it for me. Because we're going to find out how fast this train is going. Without geometry. With ge without geometry? Without geometry. Because I'm not doing the math. <sighs> I'm going to ask a question. Don't look at me. It's too late at night to do this. I'm going to ask a question. Uh, if this was a live stream, I can imagine the chat would be like exploding. Let's look at Buffalo running speed. How fast does a Buffalo run? Let's find out. Bison can run at a top speed of 40 miles an hour. Okay. That's pretty fast. 40 miles an hour. They are trying to catch up with the train. Well, now, hang on. These ponies are, let's say, about the third car from the caboose. So, I no, 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 no. Let's look at the four, the four poor bastard ponies that are dragging this train that have been dragging it for at least twelve hours. <laughs> Again. And now they're being chased by buffalo that run at forty miles an hour. <laughs> so, if the train is ahead of the buffalo or the same speed as the buffalo, That's... they're running at. 40 miles an hour. Well, it would make sense. I mean, well, what's the... Wait a minute! What about this makes <laughs> sense, dude? Four ponies <laughs> have been running at 40 miles an hour or better for more than 12 hours. Well, I could see if, if we're using... They're going to die. <laughs> if they're we're... going to stop and they're going to die. Their legs are going to fall off and they're going to die. And they're going to go to the Ponyville. They're going to go to the Equestria Dog Food Factory to go to the dog -lot town and feed the good citizens of Caninaville. Because they're going to die and get grounded to dog food. Because they're, they're gonna, their muscle is going to be so tight and it's going to be too tough for humans to eat. So they're going to die and someone is going to eat them. But if you get kicked by one of these horses, you are going to die as soon as you land four days after you've been kicked. Do not so get... We have 40 mile an hour buffalo chasing a multi-ton train <laughs> drugged by four ponies of the apocalypse because biblical apocalyptic ponies are the only ones that can drag this fucking thing. Continue. Spin on. <laughs> because that's not intimidating. I'm with Twilight. Check okay. fire. So, now the ponies look worried. This is when you look worried? You've been dragging this train for more than 12 hours at 40 miles an hour with multi-tons of steel behind you? Okay. And this is when you're worried? Hang on, let me... So, no, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Wait, now, this is near Appaloosa. Appaloosa is fairly, well... You still had to get from the train station no, to no, no, Appaloosa, no, 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 so at one point, no, they no. would have had to go up or down a hill. Okay, well, yeah, but I mean... Okay, I mean, wait, 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 back up, back up, back up. Can I finish my thought, please? The Appaloosan Territory is, 
I mean, apart from the town of Appaloosa itself, the, the area around it, like Dodge Junction, is relatively flat. It's like the Nevada desert. How did the train get there? What you mean? The main six live in Ponyville. Yarp. Stands to reason they got on the train in Ponyville, right? Mmm. Yeah, because. Uh, What's the terrain look like between Ponyville and wherever the hell they're going? Well, uh, I'd say it's not exactly flat. Since everywhere you've seen the main six go before this, they've had to go through mountains to get there? This is true. These four ponies had to drag that damn train through the mountains. Now, well, that's wait, 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 because we're about to meet the most badass okay, stallion wait, 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 on look, the planet. I've got, an, I, I have a head cannon here. I have a head cannon. I submit this to you. What? Let's say the train started out with a full load of coal, even though it didn't have a coal car. Let's say it did. It left Ponyville. No. Oh, run, no, no, no. Let me finish. Let me finish. Running on coal. And somewhere between point A and we're going to call Appaloosa point B, it ran out of coal, and the ponies on the train are the ones that manage that are the ones that manage it, seeing as how they've run out of coal, much like with diesel trains, it's just they attach Why don't they have a diesel train? Why don't they have a gas train? Well, because they don't really No, no, no. See, look at this little picture where it's paused out. What is that? That's spike. What is spike? He's a dragon. Okay. Technically, baby dragon. Okay. But still, dragon. So he couldn't blow on the fire in the engine to keep wood or coal burning. Well, think of how that's. He could. Re- it would only take one or two blasts every once in a while. But okay, we're, yeah. We're probably. even gonna skip that because there's no coal anywhere on that train. One, there's no coal car. Two, there's no fucking engineer. <laughs> well, the the engineer's full of the train. There's no engineer. There's no coal car, and there's no. Okay, they're running along. They ran out of coal. What'd they do with the coal car? Did they just unhook it, leave it on the side of the road somewhere, they're going to go get it later? <laughs> well, maybe in the equestrian society, and they don't need And why didn't they car. pack enough coal for the trip? Well, it, how come your diesel trains... Your argument is invalid. How come diesel talking? trains Stop get talking. stuck? <laughs> Wait, we're about to meet the most badass pony on the fucking planet, so we're just going to have a minute here. I would have woken up by now, for the record. Okay, this pony, the lead pony, has been running at 40 miles an hour for more than 12 hours. A horse, okay, a buffalo weighs about two and a half tons. Oh, shit. Okay, two and a half ton buffalo that we just saw them hit a moving train car and rock the train car sideways. That's a lot of Now, watch what happens when he hits that pony. Because... Indians will tell you from the Plains days that when a buffalo hits your pony, your pony (laughs) dies. So this is the Incredible Hulk of ponies. He does look worried. You were talking about the Incredible Hulk. He does look worried for good reason. That that buffalo outweighs him by about fifteen hundred pounds. Okay, no, wait a second. They are running together at forty miles an hour. I just had another thought here. What? Okay, for nostalgia's sake here, who's to say, I think this is nostalgia, who's to say that the train, the engine, is actually made of steel? Did you see it? Well, yes, but what identifier do we have? What was that video that you just had me watch? Uh, With the little Pip thing? Yeah, yeah, Little Pip Hates Trains. Little Pip Hates Trains. Little Pip said it was made of steel, did he not? Your argument is invalid. Okay, okay, well, I I didn't... Watch this, watch this. This is a 2,000-pound buffalo that's going to hit a 400-pound pony at 40 miles an hour. Now, I know what two cars look like because I've been on those accident scenes. When two cars hit at 40 miles an hour, people die. Now, well, watch, this is equestrian. just watch. And there's no point in that hat, thus no unicorn. You look worried, you got a reason to. Spin on. <laughs> bam. And he re- what? Do you know why he's able to dislodge that buffalo? <laughs> because he's been pulling a 50-ton fucking train for 12 hours. <laughs> and he's got thighs that would crack houses. <laughs> okay? He could crack beer cakes okay, with those wait, thighs wait. of his. Continuity error. Continuity error. On the on the two stallions in this in the scene, where the hell are their cutie marks? 
I see no cutie marks. There are no cutie marks because there's no cutie mark for pulling a fucking train. These are prison ponies, I'm telling you. These are what happens when you don't get a cutie mark. You end up with a loser job of pulling the fucking train <laughs> because you're not good at anything else. Okay, anyone out there, I know that everyone out there who says Celestia sucks is like screaming yes right now. There is no cutie mark on these assholes because they're, they're not good at anything. They are the equestria losers that are just good for pulling heavy shit and looking good when they do it. Cut and he just badassed a buffalo that outweighs him by 1,500 pounds. Cut. We're going to continue. Falcon, punch! And still, and you dazed him. him stupid. And dazed him. You just got your ass kicked by a 400-pound pony. 400-pound horse dragging a train with his buddies. You should be as red as the one next to you because you should be fucking embarrassed right now. <laughs> if you're cheap, you're so done. Spin on. Thank you, Pinkie Pie. Okay, smallest Wait, one. What? She's probably about, what, 200 pounds? They're born at 500 pounds. She's the size of a pony when she's born. I want to know about the Olympic gymnastic <laughs> buffalo that at 40 miles an hour could jump on his buddy's back and stand on him, and his buddy don't fall over. Because when buffalo pile up in a stampede, they die. <laughs> Spin on. And now we have ninja thingy over here. Little strong heart. Do a backflip. Because what she's doing isn't impressive enough. Pinkie Pie, you're a bitch. Something tells me this isn't a circus. Thank you, RD. No shit. She just looks at it so cool. Okay. Chicken. Here's my question. Yo. If Rainbow Dash can fly and is the fastest flyer in all of fucking Equestria... Good memory. Why is that bitch making them four ponies pull her? Wait, you got what? an ego on... Get off the fucking train! She can outrun the train! She can fly faster than the train! She wants Stamina. to hang out with her friends. I get that, but... But... Have some heart for the stallions and get off the fucking train! Okay, unless this is Ponyville to... Go help them! Thing. Okay, before you continue, unless this is Ponyville Discovers Coffee, for those of you know what I'm talking about, then there's no way Rainbow Dash could fly that large of distance without doing a, a random Sonic Rain Boom every five seconds. Pinkie Pie needs decaf, I'm just saying. Okay, yeah, and Pinkie Pie could probably make the journey because it's fucking Pinkie Pie. Why isn't Pinkie Pie out there helping pull a train? No, Rainbow Dash still sounds like a guy. I'll probably, I might give that to you. Granted, impressive acrobatics. Okay, and Pinkie Pie didn't see. All right. Technically, Let's that was a front have a flip. physics lesson. Front flip. Wait, wouldn't the train continue moving underneath? Her? Yes, it would. And by the time she landed, the train would be gone, and she would die. Or she would hit a coupler, a brake. She in the cars. would not land where she landed. And oh, by the way, the train is moving forward at forty miles an hour. That means that the air is moving around her at 40 miles an hour. If there's any air she there at all. There's air, there's atmosphere, dude. Stick well, your, wait, what happens when you stick your hand out your car window and the car is going 40 miles an hour? Where does your hand go? Up. And which direction? It goes backwards. Yes. She's going forward. So you're going to tell me that this little 400-pound calf is strong enough to run into the headwind of a 40 mile an hour train and do backflips and front flips and all this fucking acrobatic shit with no way to grip the top and she's gonna get she's not getting thrown off the top of the train because magic it's a buffalo it's not a unicorn all all creatures in equestria have magic does she have magic magnetic hooves because there's no fucking way She's going to stay on the top of that train. It's not going to happen. Convincing Continue. My, convincing my mother of equestrian magic is near him. Ow. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> See? Continuity. Rainbow, that's exactly what should happen. All right, wait. Stop. Back up. <laughs> Most like so see Rainbow Dash. That's signing it. That, that is so that Avatar. Awesome. That's so Avatar. 
You know, you, you yeah. get me? That shit would not have worked. She would, The minute she went up in the air, she would have gone backwards. I'm sorry, but no matter how many times you play that, this scene is Down, still funny. Bam. And... Jenga. Pause. How did she unhook the coupling? Um, I have very limited knowledge on train couplers, but there are several safety okay. features. Okay, first of all, a train coupler is a sideways hook-to-hook -hook coupler. Uh, like a half C. Okay, that coupler is a drop hook. That has no hinge on it. That is a solid bar going into the train car in front of it. In order to, for that train coupler to come undone, you have to move the caboose closer to the car in front of it and then pry it up and you'd have to use a pry bar you'd have to she has no fingers she has no thumbs she got a little tiny bitty mouth how did she uncouple that car those of you in the comments <clears throat> y'all tell me how she uncoupled that fucking car because a baby buffalo <laughs> first of all baby buffalo can't do any of this shit we all know it but how okay, did well, she and i'm sorry how did she fit between the two cars? Let's say she's a teenage buffalo. What? She's too, she's too small. How do you know? Do you, you know saw, buffalo size? You saw adolescent buffalo when we were at Yellowstone. She's too small. Spin on. Pause. How did she get back up there? Because buffalo are in the circus. Did you see, Do you see a ladder? <laughs> do you see a winch? There was not enough room for her to do a backflip. How did she get back up there? Because the minute her feet left the ground, again, that's still going 40 miles an hour. I got it's still for got forward momentum. So it should be going forward. So when she jumped up in the air, it should have hit her and knocked her forward, not up on top. Okay, and another thing here. We saw Spike in a few <coughs> scenes back go into the caboose. There's no door. There's no door. The fuck? How does Spike get in the caboose? There's no door. Spin on. She has no fingers. She has no thumbs. A buffalo hoof is not even cloven. It's not split. It's round. How did now, she hold on. Like, if you look closely in that last scene, it was split. It did have a split in it. Buffalo hooves are not split. Deer hooves are. Buffalo hooves are round. How did she split it and whistle? Hey, it was split. I'm telling you, you go back there, you but look at it. it's, that's what I'm saying. It's split in the cartoon. Well, you but can't. buffalo hooves are not split. They're round. They're like horses' hooves. Spin on. I can only imagine what Hasbro Spin was on. thinking. Because if they're seeing. Four ponies of the apocalypse. Dragging a train at 40 miles an hour under attack by a herd of buffalo. How did we get to 40 miles an hour again? Because buffalo run at a top speed of 40 miles an hour. Oh, yeah. So if the buffalo are running at their top speed, then obviously the train is running at 40 miles an hour. Oh, yeah, and now they're pushing... Door! Where the hell did the door come Where'd from? Where did the door come from? Twilight, you doing some magic door shit? Where's the door? Yeah, where is the door? There's just a There's just a giant fucking opening in the back of the train. Twilight, teach me that door spell. I need to make a few Pinkie holes. Pinkie Pie might fall out of, we can only hope. Okay, no, 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 no. I got it, I got it. Twilight didn't do anything. It's <laughs> Pinkie Pie's fourth wall breaking ability. Wait, Thank wait, you, wait, good night. Wait, wait, wait. You, you, seriously, See, stop. I know, what I'm telling you and you're not listening to is that buffalo hooves do not have a split. I understand. And you made me miss the part I was trying to show you. God damn it. Never mind. Damn it. No shit. Okay. The buffalo are pushing the train car. Yeah, I don't get that. How? They're just going to put their heads up against it and push it? Because if that's the case, that one buffalo that you see behind this little tan one, the little red one in the back, yeah. is the only one that is pushing this train car. Because he's the only one that's actually on the track behind the train. This is true statement. Everybody else is just running, so he got to do all the heavy work. 
Well, on the bright side, the four ponies in front, their job just got, like, what, half ton no, lighter? on the bright side, Rainbow Dash got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> That's the bright side? Yes. Still, running at speed. You missed the station. Wait a minute. Stop. Four ponies. Here we go. Running at 40 miles an hour for several hours. Now, that train, let's back this up. Because that train, watch the train come into the station. They're coming in at speed, and then they stop on a dime. They just stop, and the train stops. Equestria does not understand forward momentum. Inertia. Because a train... Don't correct me again, or I'm going to fucking embarrass you. I was suggesting it. Forward momentum means that train's going to keep going. When you bring a train into a station, the engineer, you know, the guy that they don't have... <laughs> Works on these things that brakes, it works on these great things that cars and boats and all this shit have. It's called brakes. There's nobody working on brakes because there's nobody in the engineer box. So these four ponies are just going to stop? Well, the only way I can, um, I can try and provide logic with that is that the, uh, the one pony who operates the whistle also operates the brakes. You want to try to apply logic to this. Really? Dude, for... Um, and we go. Dude, voice of reason watch does them, every day. Watch them come in. Watch them come into the station. Take care of that migraine Watch first. them come into the station. Speed, 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 and stop. Seriously? Now, you see, you see the train cars go forward and back? Mm-hmm. So that one pony that was operating the whistle just got the cattle catcher right up the ass because he's a poor bastard at the back and this guy i don't know what's wrong with you but you need medication for it talk to the ponies at the front of the train they're on some really good shit <laughs> okay just because I'm throwing it out there, because it's gonna screw with your brain. When I make apple pie, I use Braeburn apples. So I'm gonna take that pony, I'm gonna skin it, and cook it into a pie. Just, there's your brain right there. Oh my god, that was brilliant. And off we go. You wanna get bitch about them Wait a minute. You're gonna bitch? About seven minutes late. Them four ponies up front have been running at 40 miles an hour. For at least a full day. God knows how long. And you're going to bitch about seven minutes. I dare you to go up front and tell that tired SOB at the front that you're upset because they're seven minutes late. <laughs> He'll knock you the fuck out. And then he's going to kick you in the head, and you're going to die. <laughs> Assuming he hits the head. Everybody's going to die. That is the pony version. That's the question version of hell right there. They recycle way too many models. See, we got Berry Punch, and we got Noteworthy. Get some new models, guys. And no cutie mark no again. Cutie mark. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. But it's only on one side. Okay, what the heck? DHX, guys. So, what? She's only half a prospector? No, I think that's a he. And where's the teeth? Um, well, he's... Kind of fizzy on salt, so I'd imagine the gums are curled in. Well, wait a minute. I want to see something. Okay. What? Damn it. Wrong button. Uh, yes, cut. Oh. No. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> No cutie mark. Uh, well, I could argue this because the um, 
the pole is kind of blocking the view, so it could be argued. It could be! Every one of the ponies that is pulling something doesn't have a cutie mark. Oh. The ponies on the train don't have one. He doesn't have one. They're male. They don't have cutie marks. These are the loser ponies that are not good at anything but pulling heavy shit and looking good while they do it. These are the Ponyville version of male models. <laughs> that's all it is. Maybe that's why Earth ponies get ostracized. Or the Equestria version of male model, whatever. But he doesn't have a wagon wheel or any shit on his ass. So, continue. <laughs> What kind of cutie mark does the bartender have? I don't actually know. Okay. Okay, it's a salt shaker. Oh, there's the office of Sheriff Silverstar. Okay, he's got a... Wild West dances. Yeah, okay, they all have cutie marks. Here's where we have our mild West dances. Mild West dances. And here's the most wonderful sight in all of Appaloosa. Okay, question. Here we go. Why do all of the apple trees look like ducks? I never... Actually, they're not even ducks. But if you look at them, they look like peeps. I never noticed that before. They look a little like peeps or like kidneys or something. <laughs> kidneys? Why do all of the apple trees have that swoop in the middle? Because if they're supposed to be heart shapes... Y'all miss the target, because most of them look like peeps or somebody's kidney. That's like the hidden imagery of this is fucked up. Because if your kidney is green and it's got a bunch of red spots on it, you need some therapy, possibly chemo. But you definitely need to have that shit looked at. Continue. Slap him! Thank you, AJ. I'd have hit him by now. But we had a huge problem. Some of our friends were missing. A stampede buffalo. They took I love the look on Brayburn. And we had an apple tree with us for your orchard, but they took that too. Did you say buffalo? Out of all that, you only heard buffalo? Buffalo. We want our sather points to take every single tree you see here off this land. Make sure as they don't want any new ones added in. Beats me. We put a lot of hard work into this land so we can feed them. Question. Yo. If the buffalo are trying to get rid of all your trees and they just kidnapped a tree and you've had problems with the buffalo before and Fluttershy asks you why and you say, I don't know, why didn't you fucking ask them? That's a good question. If this has been an ongoing issue, nobody went to ask him, hey, what's your problem? Well, the, that Bray Bird's a little on the thick side here, as we've just seen. Whole fucking town's on the thick side. He don't run the place, does he? No, that's Sheriff Silverstar. So why didn't the sheriff go to the buffalo and go, what's the problem? I don't know. Let's talk about this. What is he, a Seattle cop? He's just going to shoot you and then ask later? Oh, Because I know the buffaloes are supposed to be the Indians and the Seattle cops shot that Indian, so maybe that's... Okay, that's politically incorrect. You guys are going to get pissed, but you know what? I grew up in an age where political correctness was not a thing, so I don't care. And I have Indian blood, so I don't care. Really? That's your thing. Yeah, we do, actually. Didn't know that. Yeah, we got... It's a long story. It has nothing to do with these fucked up ponies. <laughs> Continue. Wait, that those apple trees only have like three or four apples on them. Well, arguing, we're at a distance. Then those are big damn apples. <laughs> if well, you can see them from that far away and they're that big, that when you get to get up there to pick them, it's going to take like eight people or... Two of the ponies pulling the fucking train <laughs> okay. to get them. Well, in, um... Oh, my God. If the ponies that were pulling the train decided to do that apple bucking thing, they'd break the whole tree in half. <laughs> and point. I'm sorry, if Applejack is that strong that she can kick an apple tree and all the apples fall out, why wouldn't she out there help him pull the damn train? 
bitch. <laughs> Spin on. Somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Huh? And how is she tiptoeing? Question. What? Or tip hoofing? She's trying to be sneaky and everything, right? Yeah. She's trying to find out where the buffalo took Spike and be undetected, right? Yeah. Why the fuck is she on the ground? That's a good point. When she's in Ponyville and Canterlot and all that, does she not create clouds? I'm not exactly sure how the equestrian weather system works, but um, I'm going to go ahead she and She goes guess. up there and kicks clouds out of the way. You see those clouds in the background? Yeah. Wouldn't be much. I've seen her drag clouds and move clouds and kick clouds. She couldn't pull one of those with her and make it look like the cloud was floating and have cover in the air? UAV that... Why is she on the ground? She's this badass flyer that goes kicking clouds and moving them and making sonic rain booms and shit. Why isn't she up in the air doing recon from the air in cloud cover? Because she, you know what? She to play devil's badass. advocate, Rainbow Dash did get brained pretty hard on that sign. Perhaps the the pressure change put. Hey. Don't even finish that thought. That is a stupid plan. <laughs> Spin on. Better than her plan. Okay, let's do this. You see how well you can see Rainbow Dash against that khaki fucking background because it's a desert? What color? Now, I don't know why that sky is yellow, but it's freaking me out. Because everywhere I've ever been, I've never seen a yellow sky. I've seen blue skies. I've seen gray skies. I've seen black skies. But if the sky was blue and she had a cloud, she would blend right the fuck in and have natural camo rather than standing out like a sore damn thumb because even the green in her mane is the wrong color green for the bush behind her. <laughs> you don't know anything about camo. You're gonna get caught. You suck. And you're, I, you, dude, you got a boy's voice. Do something about it. Nobody drinks Rainbow Dash and gets away with it. Yeah, they do. Ow. Then okay. why aren't you in the air where Pinkie Pie could not have snuck up on you? For the record, Pinkie Pie stands out more than Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash has wings. If you were in the sky, Pinkie Pie would not be in your face right now, literally. Because you'd be... And, you know, why are Rainbow Dash's eyes the same color as Pinkie Pie's mane? Pink... Rainbow Dash has a serious case of pink eye. You need to go to a doctor. <laughs> You need that's, some drops for that shit. That's almost as funny as your oxygen rampant. Your She's blue! When things are blue, it means they have no oxygen. <laughs> She's going to die. Her oh. pulse ox is probably fucking zero. She's going to die. Oh, I wish you guys could heard her rant with Equestria Girls. Continue. That... How the hell did all them buffalo sneak up on you? And for the record, you ain't holding that many buffalo off. Rainbow Dash, those things on your sides are called fucking wings! You could fly away and leave Pinkie Pie to her death because that is a really good idea. You really hate Pinkie Pie, don't you? I really do, yeah. <laughs> Well, that happened. See? Round hooves. She was eggs with me by mistake. And they feel awful about it, too, poor guys. Fortunately, they totally respect dragons, so they treat me like an honored guest. Still don't like ponies much, though, but they're with me, so it's cool. I ain't eating that either. Well, I still don't trust them. I seem to turn tail and fail when I still burns my goodness. Before we finish eating, are you a local and a cocoa? Most likely. 
Why is Spike's food blue? Ah, turquoise. This here's a little stronger. And these are my friends, Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash. You, that's it. We are at it. Ow. Question. Here we go. Because of their thoughtlessness, did they know that they were your stampeding grounds? Did you try to talk to them before you planted, before they planted their trees? And this could all have been avoided with open communication. Just saying. Very and much. Here's my other question. Yo. Question. Since when do buffaloes and ponies speak the same language? Since Equestria happened. Buffalo grunt and snort and paw at the ground to communicate. Horses rub up against each other, whinny and neigh. How do these two species of animals... Is there like some sort of Doctor Who TARDIS thing around Equestria that makes everybody understood because... Translator dragons, microbes. Dragons? Yeah, are there translator microbes? Because how do they understand the dragon? I can almost think because he's a baby that they taught him to speak pony. But how do the buffalo know how to speak pony and the ponies know how to speak buffalo? Okay, fourth wall going on here. How the hell does Rainbow Dash, that has never seen a buffalo that we know of, know how to talk to a buffalo? Fourth wall here. Okay, well, actually, I can't do that. I can't describe that. But how do you know that we're that the TARDIS translator matrix isn't in our heads translating what they say? How do they communicate? I don't know. Maybe they're all raised under the same language. Right, that so wouldn't make any all sense. the animals in Equestria speak the same language? That doesn't make any sense. No, it really doesn't. You can tell me that the buffaloes and the ponies speak the same language. How does that happen? Oh, and, if that, and if they all do speak the same language, how come the settler ponies and the okay. buffalo haven't worked this out before now? Hold up. S uh, applying the Indians and white people... Um, Term or whatever here. You can tell me mission ponies went out to talk to the buffalo, taught them the, the pony language, and then the ponies and the settlers didn't bother to talk to each other about the traditional stampeding grounds. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm getting because at. Because now we just graduated to stupid. <coughs> because the whole point of teaching the Indians to speak English was so they could communicate and shit like this didn't happen. <laughs> Somebody Unless we have out. a Custer pony somewhere. Custer. Got, yeah, Custer got killed by a bunch of Indians because he was stupid. <laughs> he deserved to die. I don't care what anybody says. When you've got, like, 80 white boys against 2,000 Indians and you're in a corner, dude, you are stupid. You walked into that and went, please kill me. <laughs> and he was blonde. All right, spin on. Mm -hmm. I think it's time they met Chief Thunderhoods. Okay, question. Yes. All these buffalo went out and took on the train and kidnapped the tree and brought it back. Yo. Where was Chief Thunderhooves in all this? Sitting on his thunder butt? <laughs> hey, they smoke a pipe, remember? He must have been smoking some good shit because <laughs> from what I understand of Indian culture, the chief always went on the raiding parties because... He didn't ask his warriors to do anything he wouldn't do himself. Where the hell was he when they were taking on the 40 mile an hour pony train? Now that's some good logic right there. Spin on. Wait, he sent his kid, his baby, his little, what's her name? Something? Little Strongheart. Little Strongheart. He sent little baby Strongheart and he sat on his ass at home? Run you guys up. need a new chief. Little Strongheart should be chief because... She took on the train in one while Daddy was sitting around smoking weed at home and waiting for his welfare check. What's going on? Do ponies even have welfare? They got 40 mile an hour ponies that are not taking drug tests. That's for damn sure. Dude, 
Be You're here. boring the shit out of your own guys. <laughs> we get it, dude. Shut up. Thanks, John. All right. Moving on. I don't know that Buffalo retired. They took on a train earlier today. They planted apple trees all over it without asking our permission. Well, that's not very nice. Right? The ponies refuse to move their trees, so we are stuck here, and it is not fair. True. See, Rainbow Dash? Question. Yo. You have a herd of two-ton buffalo that run at a speed of 40 miles an hour. Yes. That apparently cannot accurately, for some reason, go around the apple orchard. Well, not, we're fighting tradition here. The trees are in the way. They, oh, just, oh, oh, they you... just hit a train and knocked the train. They knocked a 40 mile an hour multi-ton apparatus up on two wheels on a track. You going to tell me they can't hit an apple tree and knock it over? I was going to say, you're talking about they can't weave through the trees? Just run through them. You only have to do it once. Because after that, the trees will be gone. <laughs> you oh. have a clear path. Problem solved. Problem staying solved. Buffalo lead the way. Been on. She's a wuss, remember? We have to be ready for a long hike in the Buffalo territory if we're going to save them. Let's go! Found her. Hi, guys. We're so glad you're here. Nice tackle on Fluttershy. Goodness, where are we going? How did you escape from the Buffalo? We didn't. They weren't prisoners. We promised the Buffalo a chance to talk. Oh, yeah? About what? We brought our new pal, Little Strong, right here to explain to the yeah, that information would have been quite helpful before you planted the trees. Thank you. Now, I'm sorry, it takes years for apple trees to get the size of those, even if you planted them as saplings, because if you're going to plant a tree the size of the one that Applejack brought, it's going to take a whole fuck lot of people to do it because they're heavy. So those trees didn't get put in yesterday. Y'all had years to sort this shit out, well, and you haven't done it by now. Who says that they planted the trees from saplings? They didn't plant them the way they are. If where they, They're just pulled up an orchard for someplace else, brought it out there, used the pony train to drag it out there because them poor bastards... Who dug the damn holes? You got backhoe ponies that dig like that? Well, if you're following... You guys should have talked about this before you put the trees in. <laughs> this is true statement. Continue. The Okay, question. How do you dig up a tree to begin with? Question. Yo. Because maybe I'm the only one that thought of this. They need the apple orchard there because it's the only flat land around. Yes. But the buffalo need it for stampeding. Yes. Why don't you just take the trees and run them down one side and make a damn lane? That the buffalo can run through. Now, you see, halfway through this episode, I came up with that conclusion. That's like the, that's the easiest compromise in the world. And I'm sorry, but the Brayburn and Little Strongheart are the representatives of the town and the buffalo. Rainbow Dash and Applejack need to stay the fuck out of this. Yes. Not you're... your problem. None of your damn business. Go you don't the live lines. there. You don't belong there. 
you got no stake in this. Shut the hell up and let them work it out. Jesus, the main six are bunch of fucking busybodies. They cannot mind their own damn business. Both the settlers and the buffalo have good reasons to use this land. There must be something we can do. You can shut up and let them work it out. Oh yeah, Pinkie Pie, worst plan in the universe. And I question the attire, but that's just me. Honestly, fish nuts on a pony? I don't club. That's just not right. Stop. Here we go. You're going to tell me that Pinkie Pie is going to be dressed up like an old Wild West showgirl and she's reenacting the birth of Venus? <laughs> the birth of who? The goddess Venus. The birth of Venus is a really famous painting where Venus is standing in a clamshell. It's representative of her birth. So we're going to mix a Wild West saloon showgirl with classical Greek mythology <laughs> in the middle of a socio-political pony version of the white man versus Indian settling the Old West. Using... Ponies as the white people, which is really funny because the Indians used to catch and trade and steal and eat ponies. And buffalo as the Indians that were the main food source for the Plains Indians. But the white boys came in and wiped them out for their hides. So we're doing all kinds of socio-political education under the radar for kids. And now we're going to throw in fucking Greek mythology? <laughs> I never noticed that before. Seriously? We got Pinkie Pie dressed like Mae West. Who? Doing the birth of Venus. This is making my brain hurt. <laughs> Whose idea was this? <laughs> um, this is parental abuse. <laughs> Spin on. I should have beat you as a child. <laughs> Get your hook out of a damn mouth. Get you hook and mouth disease? Really? We're going to talk about hook and mouth now. <laughs> okay, she talks about not listening is gives you hoof and mouth disease. Hoof and mouth is actually a deadly disease among cattle that wiped out a couple years ago. Beef prices went off the market, went, went off the charts in the market. Because of hoof and mouth disease, it was killing cattle. Hoof and mouth disease can also be caught by buffalo and can wipe out a buffalo population. So basically, Pinkie Pie just threatened you with genocide. Chemical genocide. No, it's biological genocide. Oh, yes, it's yes. a bacterial infection. But she's suggesting chemical warfare. <laughs> or she's suggesting that you all commit mass suicide. <laughs> by and Which is really funny. Because the white people introduced things like measles and smallpox to Indian populations and wiped out entire populations. So we're actually going to run the whole gambit of white boy versus Indian history here and the birth of Venus. Why don't they, teach, why don't they show this in history class? It makes a lot more sense. This does not make any fucking sense at all. Spin on! <laughs> <laughs> At least they have Spike playing the piano because Spike is the only one there with fingers that can do it. Technically, they're claws. Still, he has digits with which he can play the keys. But if look at where Spike's feet are at. He can't reach the pedals. Thank you. And spin on. Then again, I've never noticed a difference. <laughs> Seriously, we're going to do French can kicks. Sure, why not? And the Rockettes. We've got a kick line. Sure, why not? Now, I gotta agree with Doc here. I didn't think the song was that bad. Hey, you got Doc. Wait. Yeah, I'm right there with you, Twilight. Face hoof. You wanna see where Doc is? No. 
though. I'm trying to look at something. Cutie mark check. Okay, the girls are wearing skirts. Um, I can kind of see it on the one on the right. Okay, look at all of them. Why is the one on the right with the little... She's got like the red mane and the white hat and shit. Why is she the only one wearing shoes? I don't know. Maybe it's a personal preference. Nobody else is wearing shoes. Well, technically all ponies wear shoes because of horseshoes. Okay, why is she wearing hoof cuffs or boots or whatever the fuck they are? <laughs> uh, personal preference? And Fashion? Pinkie Pie is only wearing fishnets on one leg now. No, I see two separate fish legs. Or fishnets, fishnets. No, if you look at the arm cuff, the four-leg arm... Oh, okay, because she's got like... She's only got one arm... Okay, that makes sense. Never mind. All right, continue. <laughs> that just looked fucking weird. Yarp. Right, yes, thank you. Right <clears throat> and they're like, seriously? It appears that Sheriff Silverstar and I have come to an agreement. We have. That was the worst performance we've ever seen. Thank you! I like the song. Is upon us. She threatened them with genocide. Sure enough. Okay, question. Yo. Why you gotta flatten the whole town? If all you need is the orchard out of the way, run down the fucking trees you need out of the way. Because it's making a statement. Well, you would have made it... Seriously, look at the size difference between them. <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna run down the middle of the orchard and bust up a bunch of trees, that is a statement plenty enough. <laughs> oh. You try to run over the town, we're gonna send them four ponies of the train apocalypse after your shit. Because they already kicked your ass once. Ask around, your buddies saw it. And he's actually winning in a headbutt. Seriously, you guys are going to stop a stampeding herd of buffalo. Sure, why not? That wasn't the message no, of your song. No, the message of your song was, this is hey, fucked up. Okay, dude, Doc is in that scene. Doc is in this scene three times. Okay, again, pony in the background. Pulling something. No cutie mark. Hang on. No, I don't see one. But I'm far away. But ah, spine. Too late. Before some pony gets hurt, what yeah. about some buffalo might get hurt? They might break a hoof or something. Some pony is a general term. Again, you recycled the noteworthy like five times already. Get new models. And again, Barry Punch. Why you got Barry Punch at the bottom of the tower? Okay, why are y'all standing? You got, you got badass ponies that can pull trains. Why is it taking like two or three of you to? Because Applejack and and Rainbow Dash put an end to sensible and reasonable, and they start arguing about shit. So we're minding their own damn business. Again, ponies running by their pulling shit, and they don't have any, um, cutie marks. Fly the red flag of war. Seriously? Ow. 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 Dude, they're gonna fuck your shit up. Ow. Stay out of the way might be a good idea. Let's just pull out and go back to Ponyville. Seriously, you're gonna eat right now? I know you don't want to do this. But they have taken our land. What would you have me do, Rainbow Dash? I don't know. But it's never too late to think of something. You and 
Applejack started this problem. Technically, yes. And again, they got the uphill advantage. You guys are going to die. And we have Doc again. What Doc? Dr. Hooves. Where's Dr. Hooves? See, again, no cutie marks. What are you, Winnie the Pooh? You're going to die. There he is, right there. Which one? Purple hat. Okay, thank you. Sorry, guess I should have stated that earlier. That would have been helpful. Sorry, force of habit. You should be worried because that's a lot of beef tonnage and just for the record, buffalo tastes really good. Okay, for the record, right here, right here. Everything's going just fine. They're backing down. Everyone's fine. Shut the hell up, Pinky. Again, main six, find your own fucking business. And we have a problem on our hands. Yeah, because really, the reason that that stampede started was to shut you. They're aiming at you! That blockade didn't work. Really? That was your plan? You're going to throw pies at him. Wait for it. Because blind stampeding buffalo <laughs> is much better plan. <laughs> Then Buffalo, they can see where they're going. And now we have Bucking Broncos. Oh, and boxing. Yeah, about that. Medic. Ow! That was a good plan. <laughs> That'll leave a mark. Yeah, this is the problem. You have blind stampeding Buffalo. Good hit on that Buffalo, by the way. That was such a stupid idea, because if they can see, they can know where they're going, but instead, no. We're at, yeah, now you have a problem, don't you? Ammunition depleted. Because throwing pies is such a good idea. Are you just stand there? Screw that, I'm out of here. Yes, lion stampeding jumping buffalo is such a better idea than them being able to see. Seriously, Chief, you got taken down by a pie? Really? You suck. You got your ass kicked by a pie. <laughs> First a train, then a pie. What's next? A fluffy bunny? No, getting your ass kicked by a train, I get. Let's eat the ponies! Why didn't you just start with this plan? When you think about it, when they stampede, apple picking just got a lot easier. Yes. We have the running of the leaves with apples. The running of the bulls. You've got ground thunder. It, the, when buffalo run, it shakes the whole fucking world, man. And the main six are going to take credit for this. You guys started the fight! Even the worst of enemies can become friends. You need understanding Okay, the moral. You've got to share. They weren't the worst of enemies! That's what I said! They were not the worst of enemies. They were working their shit out before you got involved. All they had to do was talk to each other. And, oh my god, you're just making me crazy. So, what the hell was the name of that episode? Over a Barrel. Okay, so, that's Farscape. <laughs> I like Farscape. So, that was the, oh my god, this makes no fucking sense train episode that they call Over a Barrel what it should be called. <laughs> We're going to give you a screwed up version of the history between... White people and Indians using buffalo and talking ponies that can pull a train at 40 miles an hour and kick the ass of a buffalo, and the chief buffalo gets taken down by an apple pie that probably gave him diarrhea because it was cooked and fermented and he wasn't used to it. It was a simple fix that all they had to do was make a lane in the trees that they didn't actually have to cut the trees down. They could have just let the buffalo run through there and the trees would have come down in front of the buffalo. That's actually a really good recap of what just happened. That 
is just making my brain hurt. And now I will forever have the image of Pinkie Pie dressed as Mae West reenacting the birth of Venus in a can-can outfit forever because that's wrong. So, that's all I have to say about that. Well, good night. With that being said, um, I'm Thunderstruck. You have just witnessed my mother breaking down over a barrel. Until next time, my brony brethren, we will see you next time.